This is Revival in Reformation Television. Keep watching. Once the spirit is alive, the, the flesh dies. Go and look at it. When he was talking in that Galatians chapter 5, he says, these two are contrary to one another. I have explained it over and over. And I don't know if I have done it here. That see, in mathematics, there is something we call the laws of inverse proportionality, which means, so what we, as we were taught in mathematics back then, is that so when you say T, when some, let's say this is, this is in nature. In inverse proportionality, as this is rising, this is going to be decreasing. It's inverse. It's inverse. So when this is rising, it says, it says, it says these two are contrary one to another. It said, live by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. If you live by the flesh, you will not gratify the, the obligation that you have to the spirit, you will not be able to meet it. Go and check. The days <laughs> when you are very full of the spirit, go and check the track of your life. You are offering praises to God. You are quoting scriptures. You are praying in tongues and all that and all that. You're, in those seasons of your life, did you not just notice that things of the flesh, sin just start disappearing? It is. It is what it is. There is no other explanation I can give. If you walk in the spirit, in the law of inverse proportionality, he says the spirit contends against, depending on the version you are reading, the spirit contends against the flesh and the flesh against the spirit. And these two are contrary one to another. If the spirit is alive, the flesh is dead. If the flesh is alive, when you are watching on video, you are, you, are, you are gratifying, you are eating everything inside, you are gratifying. What do you notice about, your, about yourself? you become more and more carnal. He says, for, uh, says, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. He says, but if by the spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. You put to death. How do you keep the flesh? Walk in the spirit. There is no solution to it. That is the solution that Apostle Paul then walk in. There is no solution for the modern demand. There is no technique. There is no, the only thing is walk in the spirit. You want to put to death the deeds of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. If you can't do that, there is no other solution. Because that is why God put his spirit. In order for us to live right, we must live. That's why when, when it was, uh, about, uh, I think verse 27 or thereabout, in the... Um, Galatians chapter 5, he said, if so be that you live in the spirit, keep in step. Make sure that Holy Spirit is regularly guiding you. If so be that you live in the spirit, let us also keep in step with the spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 to 4, it says, therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, comma, because through Christ Jesus, who live... The law of the spirit of life. In, when you are in Christ, there is, so the spirit of God is on the inside of you. And what does it bring? They call it the law of the spirit of life. Life. You have life. It says, and what it will do is it will set you free. Inverse proportionality. If you live by that spirit, law of the spirit of life, you will be free from the spirit of sin and death. You walk in the spirit. Law of the spirit of life, you put to death the law of sin and death. Inverse proportionality. These are the things we don't, if we willfully decide to walk in the flesh, we can come back. The Bible says a fool bring ruin upon himself, yet his heart rages against the Lord. So you say, I've been trying to live right. This thing is not just, mm -mm. you have not applied the, right, the spiritual method that God gave us. Walk in the spirit. How do I walk in the spirit? Do things that edify the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Sing songs in the spirit. 
Say, when I'm saying sing songs, I'm not necessarily saying I'm praying. Yes, you pray in tongues, you pray in understanding, you study the word of God, you hear music that edifies your soul. You sing psalms, you sing hymns, you are concentrating your effort on the things that build up your spirit man. Your flesh is going to be, in fact, the best way. What the devil does not want you to do is to walk in the spirit. Do things that will gratify the spirit. He will prefer, do things, go and watch film. Say you are finished watching film. I'm not saying film is wrong, don't get me wrong. He will just begin to give you works that will keep you away from doing the things of God. Before you wake up, you have started thinking of how to go on social media. So you, as you are waking up, you're on social media, from social media, you forgot to pray, and from there you quickly dash out, let me quickly get to office. All of a sudden, you are all edgy, temperamental and all that. You are wondering why is all this happening to me? You are not gratifying the spirit. Let's do things that will gratify the spirit and the flesh will come to a halt. It says, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit who give life has set you free from the law of sin and death. For what the law was powerless. Law, we keep saying, you cannot lie. You cannot lie. He says, but the law itself is powerless because the problem is with, your, is what, is with the flesh. He says, for what the law was powerless to do, because it was weakened by the flesh. The depravity of man is in the flesh. He says, God did by sending his son in the likeness of the sinful man, so he came to give us righteousness, sinful flesh, to be an atoning offering. And so he condemns sin in the flesh. In order. So when, so the sin in the flesh, we have known it for what it is. Sin is lying. Sin is this. Sin is that. He says, in order that the righteous requirement, when I begin to switch into the spirit, I pray in the spirit, I pray in understanding, I, I, I sing songs, I'm, I'm engaging myself with heavenly things, with things of God from time to time. He does not, does that not mean that I will not study for my exam? Does, the Bible made us to understand. The Bible said Enoch walked with God. Enoch was a father. They said when he was so, 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 yes, he gave birth to X, Y, and Z. He fathered children. So it's not that, the fact that you're a spiritual person does not mean that you will not do other things. If they were paying rent in the days of Enoch, Enoch paid rent. But the Bible says, in it all, he walked with God. His heart was after, he was a man after God's heart. The Bible says, God took him. He was no more. The Bible says, before he was taken, he had a witness. He had a record that he pleased God. Set your heart on the things above. He said, in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fully met with us, even though we don't have the law. The law, the Holy Spirit that wrote everything with Jesus is in your heart. It's going to help you. Another thing that the power of resurrection helps us to do is to do exploits. Luke chapter 9, I read verse 1 to 2. When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out demons and to cure diseases, and he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and heal the sick. One of the things that Apostle Paul said, I want to know Christ. And the, there is something associated with Christ. It is called the power of resurrection. One of the things that it does is it enables us to do exploit. It says, I write to you, little children, because you are strong. And he went further. He said, because you, he lives in you and you have overcome them. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. The Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. It's just unfortunate that today people intentionally say, uh, um, and some people are deliverance meaning, you, what is on the inside of you overcomes the world. We just, that, no, I, 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 no wonder Apostle Paul had to pray and say, God, yeah. I keep praying for you that the eyes of your understanding, I mean, the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. 
because he wants us to know him better. All this, he says, he gave them, he, when he called the 12 together, he gave them power and authority. As at that time, Jesus had not yet been glorified. So like I do say, Holy Spirit was a visiting secretary to them. But for us, he resides in us. They had to wait till the day of Pentecost. And even afterwards, they were filled from time to time. Read the book of Acts of Apostles. But in our time, from the moment you give your life to Christ, there is a portion of the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. When they do Holy Spirit baptism for you, it only brings out the manifestation of him that is in you. He says, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons. And to see, he that the resurrection power that took Christ and made him sit at the right hand of God, far above authorities, far above dominions, far above powers. And every name that can be invoked, that same power is what is on the inside of you. Any name that is invoked because you carry the resurrection power, you have. Christ in you, the hope of glory. He sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. If we want to do exploit, it is in the understanding of the resurrection power in the, in the person of the Holy Spirit that is on the inside of us. <laughs> and it's okay, so, but what, uh, Jesus, even Jesus, on the day of his baptism, they said the Holy Spirit came upon him in bodily form like a dove. In order for him, until that time, Jesus has not entered public ministry. Before he went into that public, he himself carried the Holy Spirit all through his mission. Because the three of them, Trinity united in the baptism of Jesus. A voice came from heaven. That is God. After the Holy Spirit has descended on him, and he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The Trinity manifested. There is no way you can do exploit for God. Healing, deliverance, and everything that you, when I say deliverance, I am talking about you being able to drive out demons. He gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. This thing. Someone say, okay, but somebody can cure headache. That's why I said salvation is that gateway that all of us must enter through. But in order to know him better, we must get the spirit of wisdom and of revelation. Because as you understand him better, at the, there is a level of curing headache. There is a level of caring, so, cure, healing somebody that is on the wheelchair. It all comes from gaining by the spirit of wisdom and of revelation. As you know him better, the better side of the person of him on the inside of you begin to manifest. I pray that this message will not stand against us on the day of judgment. Said, I want to know him and the power of, resurrection, of his resurrection. Father, we pray, oh God, Open my eyes to see what you are seeing now that I may not see what I think is right. Open my ears to hear what you are saying now so that I will not hear what I think is right. Open my eyes to see what you are seeing now, Jesus. I am praying, O oh God, for the people that are hearing and seeing this now. Enlighten the eyes of their heart. Lord, give them the spirit of wisdom and of revelation because they must know you better. Lord, open their eyes to this, see the riches of your glorious inheritance in the saints. Daddy will pray. Daddy, by this same power, are there sick out there? I command those sicknesses to begin to disappear in the name of Jesus. I command that headache, that migraine to cease in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, I speak, oh God, that ear problem. Let that ear be open. Ephrata. Lord, will speak in the name of Jesus. That let your power begin to flow to every hearer and let their bodies be made whole. Lord, those that have been oppressed of the devil will set them free in the name of Jesus by the power that is at. He said, I can do. He says, He's able to do through me. Uh, paraphrase, exceedingly abundantly above that which I think. Or require according to the power that is at work in me. Lord, by this power of resurrection, let life flow to the hearers. Daddy, yes, because Lord, my message are not with wise and persuasive words after men's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the Spirit's power. Let your people begin to be whole. Lord, who is that person? whose brain is beginning to recede, we declare by the power of an endless life, let your hand begin to touch that person and let there be a change now. Lord, Lord, that loss of memory, we command it to stop in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name, Lord. According to the power that is at work in us, glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you very much for watching this episode. And until I come your way again, stay blessed and remain rapturable. This is Revival in Reformation Television. Keep watching.